Okay, uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the different factors which can affect the ionization energy. And to help me out to to help me to explain this, I have the periodic table here. So, what to answer this question? What affects the ionization energy? What affects the um the the ease at which of of by which we can remove an electron? We need to ask ourselves the question: What is holding or what is pulling? What is keeping the electron there in the first place? And if we picture an atom, and I'll just choose an atom from this periodic table, um, I'll choose lithium. So if I'm to draw, if I was to draw a lithium atom, which has what three protons, and around it should be six point nine, run up to seven, so around seven, so four neutrons. But yeah, I'll just draw the nucleus as a circle. So if you have a lithium nucleus here. And it has a charge of um, three plus, and we have the electrons around this um, nucleus. So I'm gonna just use this the shell, the Bohr model for this, which is where you just have the shells. Ooh, Camtasia seems to be taking a lot of um, CPU stuff. Anyway, so this is the first shell. I know it's a bit wonky, but yeah there we go hopefully that that's 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 not too bad yeah okay so we have the shells here and on the, on the inner shells we have two electrons and on outer shells we have uh, one electron so this is what it would look like some something like this and as you can see the the um electrons actually have a negative charge and the uh, nucleus has a positive charge and when we look at electrical charges oppositely charged charges attract each other so there's an attractive force if we look at this there's an attractive force between the um, the protons and I mean the nucleus and the electrons so the, there's a nuclear force of attraction caused by this attract by, by these opposite charges so you can see that this would be attracted this way and um, this would be attracted this way and this would be attracted this way and the same would happen here this would be attracted that way and that would be attracted that way and so by looking at this we can see that the thing the reason why the oh this was that's my last video uh, yeah the reason why um, the reason why the electrons and the neutral the the, ele the reason why the electrons stay in in um in the in in the uh, well they don't exactly stay there but they're m m more likely than not they're going to be in this area the reason why electrons stay like um around the nucleus is because there's an attractive force and so to answer the question about ionization energy we need to answer a further question and so we need to ask ourselves what affects the force that of attraction what affects this force this attractive force which stops the electrons from leaving what affects that and if we answer that question we can uh, we can answer the question what affects ionization energy so now there's a there's a equation in physics which relates the um, charge and um force and the distance and I don't really want to go into that much detail about it since we are doing uh, chemistry but uh, inevitably they are related and so I'm going to draw up the equation and the equation is basically uh, F equals a constant uh, don't worry too much about this constant this just links the two and a constant multiplied by the first charge so 3 plus uh, so that would be Q multiplied by uh, another constant which is the charge of the electron so the first Q is the, the charge of the nucleus we could just say that and the, 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 the and the second charge would be the charge of the electron so that would be big Q and that's divided by R squared and R is the distance between the uh, nucleus and any particular electron so this this distance here 
this distance here, I'll draw that in red, this distance here would be R. And so the force is basically equal to a constant multiplied by the two charges multiplied and divided by R squared. And the implications of this are very significant for this particular, for, for the atom, because what this means is that as the charge of because the charges of electrons don't increase, they they, just, they they more or less stay the same. Whereas the charge on nu the nuclear charge, if you go, if I now go back to the periodic table, my friend over here, uh, you can see that the charges which are given by these numbers here, these numbers are the numbers of protons, and if the number of, of protons increase, the positive charge increases. So as the charge increases, the Q here, which is the charge of the nucleus, would also increase. And that means that as we go along the period period as we go along the periodic table, the, the, the magnitude of this increases. And this is the force of attraction between the two. And therefore the force also increases. And so this means that this is more strongly attracted to the, the nucleus if this force is greater. I mean Blur. I mean the force the force of attraction this is more strongly attracted to the nucleus if the charge the nuclear charge is greater that's that's what I meant and the, the other thing we see in this equation is r squared which is the distance squared and the implications of this is that if this electron is further away so let's say the electron was here or some here somewhere R would be much bigger. If we compare R here and R there, R here is much, much bigger than R there. So therefore, this the, between here and this electron here, there would be a, 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 a slightly um, smaller force uh, um, acting on the, nu the, the, the nucleus and the electron pulling them together. And so if we apply this idea to ionization energies, we can see that if R is smaller, if R is smaller like it is here, the ionization energy is going to be greater because you're going to need more more of a energy to overcome this force. Whereas if R is R is greater, like like you can see here, we since R if R was to in, increase, F is going to decrease because this constant doesn't change, and this would mean that uh, the force is, is weaker, that the force is, is not as great. And so therefore the energy required to ionize um, to, or to remove this electron from, from, from the influence of this atom is going to be less. And so we can see from this that one of the things that affects ionization energy is distance. Distance. And in the constant in the context of the atom, what we usually call this distance is the atomic radius. Atomic radius. And the atomic radius is basically the distance between the uh, the nucleus of the atom and the high, the furthermost electron from the nucleus. So the one that's going to be lost if um, it gets ionized the distance from the nucleus, so atomic radius. And we can also see that the, um, another thing that affects it, which can change, is the nuclear uh, charge, so nuclear charge. And uh, the reason why I'm not saying uh, the charge of electrons is because it, 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 the charges of electrons don't increase, they just more or less stay the same. And the third thing which uh, can affect this, which I'm now going to talk about, is something quite interesting. If we consider these electrons here, take a look at what is going on here. There's an electron here, an electron here, and this one is closer to the nucleus than this one. And what, as we, as we, as I said about um, charges, opposites attract. So if they're the same charge, they're not going to attract. They're going to repel each other. They, they're going to want to stay away from each other. The electrons don't like, don't really like being near other electrons. They, 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 they prefer to, um, to be near positive charges. 
and so therefore these two electrons are going to have a repulsive force acting between them and they're going to want to stay away from each other and this has an impact on the relationship between the force of attraction between the nucleus this nucleus and this electron in terms of their attraction because this one is pushing it away and so therefore the fact that these electrons these inner electrons are present there's going to be a force acting on the ones that are further away the outer electrons relative to these electrons and we call that force shielding and what shielding means is that because these electrons are here there's going to be a slight force pushing these electrons away and so that's going to benefit you if you're trying to ionize it because that means that the ionization force required or the ionization energy required to remove this electron is going to be uh, less because this is helping you, it's pushing it away. And so this force here is going to be affected. Well, this force is going to be affected in the sense that there's a second force uh, opposing this force acting. And so what we call this is, is new in uh, shielding and we can refer to this as inner electron shielding. Inner electron shielding. And uh, yeah, so that's one of the other thing, things which is going to affect whether or not um, it's going to affect the magnitude of the ionization energy required to ionize a particular atom or a molecule. And yeah, that's all I wanted to really talk about in this video. So I uh, hope this video was helpful and um, I'll see you in the next video.